Hello and welcome to another video. In this video we are going to learn how to transfer a flood illuminator to one flex to another uh, flex because uh, this iPhone 12 Pro Max come to my shop with uh, this cable cut it okay this this one someone when they try to fix the screen they cut this cable so remember in this um, in this flexor is one component that is so important for true tone and another component is so important uh, for the face ID okay so welcome to another video remember in face ID we have three components that they are so important right we have the camera the infrared camera we have the dot projector and we have the flood illuminator right the flood illuminator is uh, this one this one the 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 one come with the with the uh, this uh, flexor right oh I'm not sure if this cable is going to work or not because see I just buy this cable yesterday ah, I think it's going to work yeah okay so we have the flood illuminator so this is the the flex that I get for do the transfer okay so we had this one okay so I had to remove this one and prepare this flex to put the uh, another uh, component the one uh, is for the original phone okay so I'm going to use uh, this um, I'm going to use a stencil and just put the stencil right there okay and then I just put some uh, some tape on it I like to use the heat gun to remove this uh, to remove this component okay because I don't know for me it's easier to do it this way okay so like that okay like that okay I'm going to remove this one remember this is the bad one so we uh, it's okay if we burn a little bit the plastic okay but to be honest with you guys, uh, you can use, I'm using um, the quick 8610, okay, and I'm using 364 air, okay. So I'm going to come this way. So I'm going to apply a little bit of flux and I'm going to start heating, okay. To do this, you have to move your um, hot station fast because you don't want to burn the cable okay fast there you go so now i'm going to apply a 138 solder pasta 138 just to uh, change the the solder so i'm going to put this one 138 okay just a little bit and i'm going to come with my uh, iron and I'm going to put my iron in 280, okay? 280. And I'm just going to try to apply like this, okay? There you go. And then I'm going to bring um, one uh, solder wick. And we are going to try to remove the excellence, okay? There you go. and a little bit more there you go okay perfect so now i'm going to clean with the with my alcohol like that perfect okay so we already have the cable ready to put the another one okay okay now remember uh we have to all also transfer the the uh, sensor for the this sensor right here so we are going to do this one in the same way because this sensor is for uh the true tone okay this is the ambient light sensor sensor for the ambient light okay 
well, we, we are going to do this one later. I'm going to use focus on this one, okay? Because I had to move the, well, I had to move the cable, okay? So now that I already had this one, so I'm going to bring the screen. I'm going to remove, I have the original right here. So we had to, uh, be careful with this one because this one is the important okay so we cannot uh, burn the the joggy the flood illuminator we have to be careful with this one okay so i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to put um, an stencil right here and i'm just going to put some tape and that's it here we go like that okay perfect now i'm going to apply the same thing okay i'm going to apply a little bit of flux and i'm going to apply it to 220 no 320. the secret on this one is you have to move fast your your uh, heat gun okay this is the secret There you go. I'm going to bring the stencil. Add the stencil right here. And uh, remember, I'm going to use 138, okay? To use 180, it's fine, but uh, we don't want to apply too much uh, heat, okay? So that's why I'm going to use 138. Remember, I'm going to leave all the, all the tools that I use on this video if you guys are interested to get it, okay? The solder pasta, my tweezers, my heat gun, everything, okay? Okay, now I'm going to use uh, 250 to do the revolve. like that perfect there we go we are going to do it one more time okay Okay. Now I'm going to bring this one. This is the generic one. And I'm going to I'm going to apply uh, a little bit of flux. Not too much. I'm going to bring them this one. Perfect. And I'm going to, I'm using 250 and 40, okay, to put it back. I think it's done. Okay. Perfect. So now I'm going to test it, okay? I still had to transfer the uh, ambient light sensor, okay? But right now I'm just going to try to, I'm just going to see if, uh, if this one is working, just the face ID. And then I'm going to transfer the flood illuminate, okay? 
Perfect. Now I'm going to bring the screen. Okay. I'm going to connect the battery. I'm going to take this protection and I'm going to power on the phone. Time of true. There you go. I'm going to come here. I'm going to come to face ID. Right here. There you go. And there you go. We have it. It's working. That's it. That's it. Remember, I had to, I still had to transfer the the ambient line sensor okay to have the uh to have the true tone working because the ambient line sensor is the one had information for the true tone so i'm going to do this one later okay so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys learned something today don't forget to leave your comment share this video and subscribe to my channel see you next time bye